In this visual guide to the second encounter we'll learn through, and we will get to the point and give you the exact details that you need, but also ensure that they're correct as we're releasing this a day after the dungeon is released. And sometimes early guys can miss key details. One of the key things in this encounter is that there will be a freezing effect that comes in later that will kill you. There are lamps at the back of the arena that will keep you from freezing because once you hit 10, you will die similar to the Deep Stone Crypt Sparrow portion. Again, it's not through the entire encounter. It'll happen here in a, in a bit. First off, you're going to kill ads. As you're killing ads, you're going to notice that their eyes are going to show up on either side of the boss. You don't want to kill them until you're ready for the next spot, but when you do kill them, you'll see a message shows up that scorn rise to invoke their fortunes and your demise. Once that happens, two large chieftains will show up on the right and left. You're going to want to time with your fire team exactly when you kill the chieftains, and there's a couple reasons for that. One is that once you kill one of the chieftains, a 30 second imminent wish counter will start. That will basically, you have to finish everything you do to set up DPS in that time period. The other thing is, you will see bones call forth a freezing tempest. When this happens, that's when the freezing effect starts happening. And so you want to make sure you're prepared for that. Also, you don't want to nuke them in addition because when they first show up, if you leave them for a second, they will drop one of the either machines. They'll also drop one when they die. If you can get two on each side and close them, you can actually go into one phase of DPS. The other thing is you can try to bait them to be close to the lamp. But if you can't for some reason, you can always go back and forth from the either machines to lock them back to the lamps to get that protection. Again, you have to do it within that 30 seconds. Once imminent wish ends, you will see a notification that a wish has been granted and the freezing portion is over. Based on how many either machines that you locked up, a number of orbs will show up in the middle. If you've done all four, that gives you enough to start DPS because you have to take those orbs and you have to take them into the center part of the arena and put them in pillars. Once all four are in, that's when DPS starts. So if you've done all that, if you've done four in one phase, you can go straight to one phase. If not, you're going to have to do this again. Once DPS starts, it's similar to Leviathan in that you're going to rotate between plates and have 15 seconds per plate. So once you put that ball in, have someone go ahead and put well down immediately, congregate there, do damage, do your countdown, move over, whether it's clockwise or co counterclockwise, just depends on what your fire team wants to do. Keep going around. That'll give you about 60 seconds of damage to the boss. Continue to do that. And just like normal, uh, if you've killed them in one phase, that's great. If not, you're just going to have to start and rinse and repeat and do this again. Again, super fun encounter. Love the fact that there are so many bosses and that, you know, they have interesting mechanics. Really, really love that. If you like this video, feel free to like it, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you Guardians in the Tower.